What's up guys? Justin here with BCGEssentials.com. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about why it's important to be able to use a tool like Decal Machine for Blender artists. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So have you ever had to work with a model that wasn't your model inside of Blender? If you have, you know that it can cause a lot of problems. So for example, Let's say that we were to download this ER315 military radio from Sketchfab into our model. And by the way, it's a really nice model. I like the model. So you can download this and follow along if you want to. But the issue with this model is let's say that we wanted to add some detail to it, right? So I've added it in Blender and let's say I just wanted to add something simple like nuts and bolts or something like that. So if we were to select this object, tab in object mode and look at the geometry, you can see how this geometry isn't modeled with quads or anything like that. So what that means is that means it's really hard to come in here and subdivide surfaces or do anything else with it to really edit using tools inside of Blender. Now there are some things you could probably try to do with different modifiers and other things like that, but even something simple like creating like a recessed nut or bolt or something like that could be a little bit difficult. So for example, I could try adding a circle and so I could try adding a circle in here, filling it in, insetting it, and then uh, doing some different extrusions and other things like that. But the problem is, notice how if I try to extrude it down, it's not really going through the object. So you could create something where, on the other hand, you extrude up if you wanted to do that, but you're just really limited in your options when you're working with models that somebody else created. So. So you could definitely come in here and create something that was kind of extruded up and kind of like mess around with creating this extra geometry inside a blender. But the problem is it's time consuming. You have to come in here and you're dealing with something that is something that the eye is going to see but it's not something that necessarily is a huge deal that you want to spend a lot of time on. So another option that you could use is you could try to use a tool like Fluent or something like that and try to cut something in to this face. So you could definitely try to do that. And you know, that's a valid way to approach this. But again, notice how the geometry is all kind of messed up in here. And again, you could adjust things like the bevel and other things like that. But you're just going to be spending a lot of time fighting with geometry, trying to add a detail that you can barely see. And so adding these fine detail objects is something that you need in order to make realistic objects, but it's something that's also a little bit frustrating because you don't want to model the detail. However, with a tool like Decal Machine, which you can download from the Blender Market, what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to add these surface details in a non-committal, non-destructive way. I like the use of the word non-committal because what that does is that allows you to basically just kind of drop these decals on your surface using these two-dimensional images, they're going to look like they're three-dimensional using the parallax function, but you don't actually have to add a bunch of geometry or do a bunch of crazy modeling or anything like that. So let's say I wanted to add um, like one of these little screws on the surface. So all I would have to do with the screw is just place this on the surface like this. And so notice how what we're getting is we're getting a three-dimensional look on this screw using that parallax function. And these are also editable in the sense that you can tap the D key and you can adjust things like the height above surface. So you can move this so that it looks like it's above or below the surface, but you can also adjust things like the parallax. So notice how the parallax is going to basically make this object look like it has depth. And notice that parallax is changing the way that this looks depending on the direction that you're facing it from. So when you're looking at it from like a top view or something like that, it's gonna look like it's three dimensional, even though it's not. Well then all you have to do to add detail is just duplicate these, right? So you could duplicate them along the X or Y axis really quickly. And so now you've got this detail on here without you having to mess around with any kind of geometry. And so the cool thing about this is you can also download different libraries of different decals. So for example, I've got this full library of decals right here. If I wanted to add like stickers or something like that, I could tap this or I could tap the D key to activate this. And then notice how I, I've downloaded all of these and I can actually apply them to the surface. So let's say for example, that we wanted to apply maybe like this decal right here. So you can scale that down and you can apply it to the surface without you having to go in and mess with any additional textures or anything like that. And so let's say that we wanted to apply something that kind of runs along a curve like this. So along this curved surface 
right here. So notice how again, this is kind of ugly geometry in here, um, just from like a quads perspective. Well, let's say we wanted to add a sticker or something like that. So, so let's go with something like this access electrical. Well, all we would have to do is just rotate this. So we can just rotate this sticker and scale it down. And so let's say we just wanted to bend this along the surface right here. Well, you could just tap the D key. Notice how there's options for different kinds of projection. So for example, in this case, we would probably just do a shift and then click on the project. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna shrink wrap this on this surface. Then you can tap the D key and you can adjust things like the height. So I can hold the height or I can hold the Alt key to adjust the height just like this. So this is a great way to really quickly place decals in here and other details without you having to get super detailed with your texturing or anything like that. So in addition to that, there's a massive, massive amount of different decals that you can download out there that have already been created. So I can link to this page on the notes down below. But this is just the decal resources page for different decal packs that you can find um, from the actual developer's website. So one in particular that I found super interesting was this lens info pack. So it's literally decals designed for lenses on cameras. So you can find a lot of different resources in here to really quickly add detail to your models without having to do any geometric changes. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about Decal Machine. I'd love to get your opinion on this. If you are interested in Decal Machine, it's currently on sale in the Blender Market Black Friday sale. I will link to that on this page as well. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.